Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do a video uh, or a short. And I think I'm just obviously doing a video as you're probably going to notice when you're watching this later tomorrow or later tonight. Um, it was announced on UFC 299 that the main card was finalized and put out to the public to see. Now, UFC 300 is an, an historic card obviously UFC 300 now not a lot of those guys are still around actually one, only one guy on that card has has fought on 100 and 200 and that is Jim fucking Miller so I, I I wouldn't expect them to put him on the main card I wouldn't expect him to do anything crazy like that for him I get it fine fine but when the main card came out, they put in the order of, again, the main card. Who's going to be fighting, where they're going to be fighting, all these things. And a lot of us started to notice that there's some fights missing in that main card. Because somebody's fighting in the main card. Bo Nickel is on the main card. Now, I'm not the biggest Bo Nickel um, supporter. Uh, because I'm realistic and I've seen two fights from him from nobodies. Jimmy Pickett's now retired. Awful in the UFC. Val Woodburn just had, is 0-2 in the UFC. You know, showed some heart and stuff in his last one. But hasn't won a fight in the UFC. Because the accolades of Bo Nickel. Because he's a wrestler that can knock some people out. Nobodies, let me mind you. Let me remind you of. He's on the main card of UFC 300. Also, the main card has Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje. Also has Zhang Wei Li and Yan, Yan Shanan. Oh, also has Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira. Bo Nickel is fighting Cody fucking Brundage on the main card of one of the, if not the most historical card in UFC. Come on. Are you guys trying to sell Bo Nickel so hard you put him on the main card of this card? Have him fight on the main event of the prelims. Why is he on the main card above all these champions? Like, it, it's so baffling to me. It almost confuses me. I'm not kidding. It's so stupid. It is so dumb. Like, oops, let's not do that. Let's go here. You'll see 300. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Okay. Let's look. Okay. So UFC 300. First fight right now. Well, actually, let's see if UFC actually has it up. And topology is just not stupid. Let's see. Let's see if they got the card up. Uh, da, da. Okay, here's the card. So, no. Okay, the card is, is correct on UFC as it is on Tapology. So, here's the card. Let me read it to you. Davis and Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt. That's opening the card for UFC 300. Excuse me? Former world champions. Okay, second fight. Bobby Green, Jim Miller. That's the second fight. Okay. Jessica Andraj, Ma Marina Rodriguez. Andraj, former champion. Okay. Jalen Turner, Renato Mercano, just announced. Fourth fight on that card. Okay. Sadiq Yusuf, Diego Lopez. Fan favorite, Diego Lopez. Okay. Holly Holm, Kayla Harrison, who is debuting, making her UFC debut. Holly Holm, former world champion. Should be former two-time world champion. She beat Jermaine Duranamy. Screw those dis uh, judges. Next, Calvin Cater, Aljamain Sterling. Okay. Yuri Prohaska, Alexander Rakic. Now, I don't like Rakic. I don't like Rakic at all. But that's the eighth fight on this card. Excuse me? Number nine. Prelims. 
Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sayukian. Excuse me? Okay. Number 10. Above Charles Oliveira. Bo Nickel, 5 and 0. 5 and 0. Cody Brundage. At least Cody has 10 wins. Oh, you know the fight that's after that? Gaethje Holloway. You know it's the fight that, that that's after that? Zhang Wei Li. Shan, Yan, Yan Shaonan. Oh, the main event for that? Pereira, Jamal Hill. Am I missing something? To where Bo Nickel couldn't be on the prelims? It's UC 300. They do not deserve to be on the main card. You know, Bo Nickel has two fights in the UFC. Cody Brundage has... This is his ninth. This will be his ninth fight in the UFC. He's 4-4 four four in the UFC right now. And he's on the main card against Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel is not that big of a star. Stop selling me Bo Nickel. He's 28 years old. Okay? 28. He has two fights against nobodies. 13-8, and eight, which I'm pretty sure he ended his career 13-11. and 11. Yeah. He did. He beat Val Woodburn, who's now 7-2 on a two-fight losing streak. Jamie Pickett only had two wins in the UFC, both by decision. One against Joseph Holmes, cut, terrible, not a good fighter. Next, one before that, was Loriana Starlopolo. Star, yeah, Starlopolo. I don't know how he beat him, because Starlopolo, at least now, at this point in his career, is pretty good. Pretty good. Very confused. I don't understand. It makes no sense. Make it make sense, please. Please. I don't get it. I'm sorry for a rant. I don't know if people are going to like this. I'm sorry. I'm just putting my thoughts out there. Bo Nickel. I'm, I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be on the card. But he doesn't deserve to be on the main card. He doesn't deserve to be ahead of seven world champions that's the reality hopefully you guys enjoy do you guys agree do you guys disagree why do you disagree do you think bo nickel deserves to be on this fucking main card also are you sold by bo nickel he's five and oh two finishes against nobodies absolutely zero part of on the bo nickel train that's the reality. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about it down there in the community section or the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Peace.